Hey, Tess Whitehurst here, and this is our manifestation series based on chapter one of my forthcoming book, Holistic Energy Magic. So today we are talking about one of the most important aspects of manifestation, and that is vibrant visualization. So first of all, visualization is not always visual. When you talk about it, you know, as far as the definition, the technical definition goes, yes. But when we're talking about magic and metaphysics, uh, it can be any of the senses, and, and it can also, it mostly actually has to do with feeling, so getting into the emotion of that which you want to manifest. Because the idea is that everything is energy, everything is vibration, and emotion is especially vibrational. So when we tune into the vibration of that emotion that accompanies that which we want to manifest, then we are drawing it toward ourselves when you think of everything as being energy. So, of course, we can use visions. So if we really want to attract, manifest a new car, visualizing that car can help us get into the feeling of that car. Because whenever we want to manifest something, we don't just want that physical thing. We actually want a certain feeling. That's why we want the thing. So to look to go beyond the thing and then find out what's the feeling that I'm craving, that's the important thing. And then visions, sense... Um, touch, any kind of way that you can help yourself get into that feeling using your mind, um, that would be visualization. So if you happen to be thinking to yourself right now, I can't visualize or I have trouble visualizing, the truth is that I understand that, you know, when we practice visualization for the purpose of manifestation, that's a specific way of using visualization and that can improve when we practice. However, the actual basic ability to visualize is something that all people have. So when you, you're, for example, when you're craving chocolate, that's a visualization. You're cra it's a specific thing. You're thinking of the taste, you're thinking of the texture, whatever you're thinking about that's letting you know that you're craving it, that's a visualization. When you're looking for something, when you, you lost your phone and you're looking under a couch cushion and you're imagining, maybe I'll see that phone. You, know, you have an inner picture of that phone or at least an inner feeling attached to finding it. That's a visualization. So what we're interested in here is channeling that ability, that inherent ability, into helping us manifest. So there's a lot of ways we can do this. One of them is just, you know, opening your eyes in the morning and thinking, wow, I am so lucky that I have this Prius, or I'm so lucky that I have such a great exercising habit, you know, of exercising every day. Even if these things aren't actually already in your physical experience, if you can convince yourself that they are and then feel as if they are, then you're starting to manifest them. And of course, Together with the other things in this series, this is one aspect of specifically manifesting, but it can be used alone in that way. As soon as you wake up, as soon as you're drifting off. Um, maybe you want to manifest more laughter in your life. Why not? It's healthy. So when you're driving to work or when you're in the shower, you can just think of the times in your life when you laughed really hard and you can connect with that feeling and just Keep it there in your mind, body, spirit for as long as it feels, um, as if it starts to kind of fade off naturally, you can let it go. But when you do that regularly, you'll find that you'll be laughing really often throughout the day. It will increase that. So you can also do symbolic visualizations. So that would be, for example, if you wanted to manifest a new home, new apartment, then you could imagine a golden key just a, something that would be a symbol for you. This might be powerful for you. It might not. But just as an example of a symbolic visualization. And then there's energetic visualizations, like shielding yourself in light for protective purposes, which I have done a video about that too if you're interested in that. But you can also energetically shield yourself with other types of energy. So abundance. You might visualize green light with Dollar bills, hundred dollar bills floating through it, or coins. You could imagine this, the sound of jingling coins or rushing water to attract prosperity. So the intention is the feeling, 
And the more you practice, so if you can practice this maybe every day for a month, pick one thing maybe, practice every day for a month, you'll find that it will get easier and easier. And you'll also start to discover your unique way of visualizing. So everyone's different. You might be more auditory, more tactile. Just practice and see and just do the best you can. Show up every day and that's pretty much all you got to do. So thanks again for tuning in. This is so much fun. I'm so glad you're joining me and I'll see you next time.